I am shaky. How can I do this? <laughs> hey Plenty friends, welcome back to another new Plenty video. Today, okay, so today's the day we just launched. We just opened the store and I was debating, I was gonna post this video on March 2nd, which is when I, I ended up putting everything out already for the t-shirts. But I decided to hold on to it, maybe post it for next week. Now after talking to my cousin and my boyfriend, because I didn't want to give off the wrong message on this unboxing. I don't want that I like already got the money and I'm already buying stuff. No, I ended up placing this order last week and it's basically from Etsy and it's called Green Escape. They have such cheap plants. I've always been stocking them for super duper long. Probably sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> Is Valentino, but just smell this cat breath when like fish <laughs> and I just breathe it in. But I he did tell me like they're not gonna think that like they, you know they're not and I was like okay so I'm gonna post it on March 3rd so it's right now March 2nd night and I'm gonna post it tomorrow because they just got in today. I'm so excited <laughs> Like, I'm really, really excited. I got a one plant that I, I had it for a wish list for super duper long. Then I got another one that was really, really cool. Another one that was really, really cool. What's the other one again? Oh, another one that I've never seen before. So it's going to be like an uncommon slash rare unboxing. And I love Etsy so much. So yeah, this is their box. Like, oh, sorry. Like I said, I placed this order last week, I believe. And I got my little um, watermelon knife. <laughs> To make it more friendly for y'all, I'm gonna make sure I'm not too close to Valentino because we don't want that, right? Gonna put it away. Baby, I'm busy right now, baby. I'm a little busy. I already, I gave him so many treats and he knows whenever I film, baby. He knows whenever I film. The only way for, for him to like, for me to get him, um, he's like on this side, for him to like, he, he just wants treats, y'all. He knows that I'll give him treats when I'm filming and, and I need him to like knock me out too much. He is getting in the way. He knows, ooh. Okay, I know people get scared with the knife. I know that. So I'm gonna try not to use it. A little bit of tape. I'm so Who doesn't love a fun unboxing? Uh, I'm just not scared. Cause one of them is, is one of my wish lists, but it's like so hard to look after. And I didn't want to buy a massive one. The only time I saw it one time was in a garden center and it was huge. It was like $35, $39, not bad. But like I said, I think I'm, it's a fern, okay? <laughs> and it's better that it's small. So if it goes away, it's okay. At least I gained a little bit of experience on it. Um, and it's not that crazy, like, expensive. Uh, it doesn't show the price, but in total it was like $68. So I got a golden zebra fern, a philodendron Florida ghost mint, which we're gonna talk about, an anthurium vecchiae, anthurium vecchiae, and a variegated tiger fern. <laughs> oh my God. Here's our unboxing, a little stuff. I did watch Plants by Melissa because she did also bought some plants from them, I think like last week. And after seeing her video, I was like, it looks pretty good. So I decided to bite the bullet. And they were having a, a 10, 15% off sale. And I was like, these plants are already cheap. Like, that's really, really good. <laughs> I like how they label them when I saw her video. This is the tiger fur. It's very light. And then here's the other one. This is the Vechii. Hello. And then here's the other one. Um, yes, my love. The ghost mint, supposedly. We're gonna talk about it. And then the other one is the zebra plant, the golden. That's basically it. No stickers. Nah, I'm kidding. Honestly, they they have a lot of they have a lot of orders. You can see their Etsy amazing store, amazing store. They have so many uncommon or common or even rare houseplants for tiny and for really good prices. So I love that a lot. And uh, this is I'm so excited for the fact that I got some. And it takes a water break because I am going to crazy. I need to calm down. I think I'm gonna go first with the tiger friend. I know I should have said it for last. But I just can't control myself. I just want to see it. Do it these stickers? Look at the stickers. The grand skip. I want to make some stickers too. But that's kind of expensive. <laughs> Down the line, hopefully. But uh, packaging looks pretty good. <laughs> hey there. Ah. Uh, oh. Hold on, so here is how it looks. Okay. Ah, it has a little note. It says, hi there, thank you for ordering from our shop. Due to leaf count, we have included an additional plant. 
Hope you guys cannot hear that. They added two plaids. That is so reasonable because I saw it. I was like, now hold up. So it's two. I think I'll be down to give one to my mom, but it's a fern. We know how like they're kind of finicky. I'll let her know. Like, honestly, if it was me, if I had a, her, I have a balcony though. I would place it outside on the bottom of a tree. I've heard a lot of good stories about placing a Boston fern on the bottom of a tree. And I actually had one a long time ago and it was doing amazing. So I don't know, but uh, it's just so tiny and so cute. He, I guess can barely see the variegation, but ah, that is so cool because of leaf count, they ended up adding two. So fair, so reasonable. And the soil is nice and moist. We know it's a fern that wanted to stay moist. It's because he's getting so loud because like I'm using my high pitch voice out of excitement and he thinks I'm talking to him but and he thinks I'm gonna get him a treat or attention or some pets. <laughs> Here's the other one. <gasps> Look at that. I'll get some good close-ups on Instagram and Facebook but oh, this one looks really good. I always wanted a variegated tiger fern. I think they're so beautiful and they gave me two. I think I'm gonna give one to my mommy. I think she'll be cool with it. Uh, I actually can get this one. I wanna like try to like make this one happier and see. I wanna take a challenge. It looks so good. Oh my gatos. <laughs> That's the tiger fern. Alrighty, excuse me, I'm burping. This is the next one. This one is the zebra, the golden zebra. Let's see if I can take off the sticker. Maybe if I rip it. I like how the paper is green. That's really cool, like attention to detail. It's like plants. They could have done white or brown, but they did pink. Ooh, oh my God. I almost ripped. Oh, I said, sorry. Oh my God, those. I almost ripped the leaf by accident. Have you ever, has that ever happened to you? It has happened to me a couple times. I get so excited that I end up breaking a leaf or like ripping a leaf by accident. You would think that I would like get better at that, not doing that, but it just happens. Someday. This one is so pretty. It's a fern. I know I'm go I don't know why. Ferns are like toxic. <laughs> they they need a lot of humidity. They do awesome in terrariums. I don't got a terrarium. I mean I do got a terrarium, but I'm using it for eggs. This one, it's not an actual terrarium. But maybe I think I don't know. I'll show it to you on a bit. Y'all can let me know if I should put it in there. <gasps> oh. Y'all see that? What? Like, like, I love the leaf. Oh, and then the edges, they look like, like it's like, like it was cut with one of those fancy scissors from school. Wow, that is beautiful. Such a beautiful, and like, let me see if we can see the root system. Not really, but amazing. Amazing. So let me show you, I have this terrarium. I don't like to kind of carefully. I got this from Walmart, I believe. I added some plants in here, but they were not doing that good. So I'm really curious if it would, maybe if I add a sphagnum moss. The thing is, it's not like it's, it leaks. That's the issue. Maybe I can add some like plastic liner or something like that to like hold the water and actually make it into a terrarium. They do sell terrariums in Walmart and I've always been wanting to make a video with my mom on her and I making a terrarium. I think that'd be fun for Mother's Day. That's a little video idea, right? But I don't know. I, I have a pretty humid apartment. I'm, I'm my tiger fern and this golden zebra. I'm planning on placing them by the kitchen where there's grill lights, but it's like by the sink. So it's very humid in there. And there's a lot of plants as well as you can see. That's the kitchen over there. And I can supervise it, make sure that it doesn't dry out and stuff like that. So that's the plan on my ferns. The next two one was a philodendron and the other one is an anthurium. I, I'm just kind of excited because like it's a Vichy eye, Vichy eye, am I saying that correctly? That's really bougie. A lot of cool YouTubers have that one and I always wanted one, but they're kind of expensive, but I got it for cheap. I think I paid like $20 for it. So I think it was like 18. So that, the ghost mint will be for less, but we're going to do this one. The Vichy is very small, very, girl, it doesn't feel like anything, but let's find out. I really, really like the paper. It's like a pretty green. Girl! <laughs> Hello! I know, I mean, this plant used to be like hundreds of dollars. 
And I got it for 18, so I cannot complain. This will be placed under my grill lights, um, the shelves. But let me show you, so let's just take off this cotton. Look at my little bitchy eye. My hands are so dry, I'm sorry. I was washing dishes and it dries out my hands, but look at that. Oh my god, it does. It's a little baby. A little baby. Big. I'm sorry, it's just so tiny, like it's so tiny. It's like the size of my eye, kind of like it's so tiny. But these have the most prettiest leaves when they mature. And I did saw one of the YouTubers having like a massive one. He I, I I've heard I heard <laughs> that it's more like mint. I, I heard that they like to do good in ponds with gravel. I'm I still I'm still doing research on that, but I've seen a lot of amazing results with alocasias and anthuriums that they love that kind of setup in that potty mix. So maybe I'll put this one in there. As of right now, I'm only gonna put it with what I have. I'm gonna put in a four inch planter that I have that are plastic and some good potty mix. And hopefully this will keep it happy. And so I can do my research or doc like, or I'll read what you guys have to say. You guys always give me amazing um, advice on how to care for some plants. And like a lot of y'all have helped me save my plants a lot. So if you have an anthurium vichii, vichii? I don't know why y'all, I keep thinking the other thing, but I'm just excited to have one. Am I cool now? I I don't know. It just I think the leaves are so pretty and it's just so tiny. I saw the pictures and I was like, it's a little baby. It's a little baby. It's just a little baby. It's just a cute. Like look at that. Like hello. I think I'm gonna name it. What I don't know if I should name it. Little Bob. Okay, we have this one. This is the ghost man. So I did watch. I forgot her name. But she she has she's really pretty. She's really really big on YouTube. She has like blonde hair. She's known for like rare rare plants. And basically, a ghost mint is no such thing. I didn't know that when I placed the order. I just thought, and I was like, ghost mint for that cheap? Okay, I'm cool. Because I know that Florida, Florida ghosts are kind of like, kind of, they used to be rare. Now they're uncommon. But you can basically get one on Etsy for like a good amount. A ghost mint is basically a Florida, Flo, Florida ghost that hasn't got enough light. That's basically what it is. Um, okay. And so basically, I have a Florida ghost. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it's cool though. I, I always thought that that plant was gorgeous and beautiful. And I have one now. I think I paid like $17. I'm not quite sure. I'll put the prices on the, on the screen for you. But I got it for cheap. And then it's just so cool. I, I usually get like plants from like Lowe's and stuff like that, like already kind of big. But I like how this plant shop has them so tiny and it makes it more special because you're growing it from like when it gets to this size. Do you know how like rewarding that's going to be when I'm looking back and being like, wow, I helped this plant get to that point. And a lot of you are doing that. A lot of you guys, well, a lot of you have, have like have gotten tiny plants and grew them to these massive plants. I still love my big plants. When I go to a plant nursery and they sell it for like a really, really cheap price, like a massive Monsanto Deliciosa, I'm gonna snatch it. But I think it's really, really cool that this shop is like selling uncommon plants and a lot of other shops do too. But this one sells them for like un uncommon, rare or common plants. for are really, really tiny. And that is so cool. Like that is so, and right now everything looks amazing. I've seen other videos and same thing. Like a lot, everybody has amazing results with them. Amazing. This is not sponsored by the way. <laughs> I should have said from the beginning. Um, I just, I just been stalking them because I know they have a lot of plants in there. Like they have a lot. So this one's really, really cool. Look at that. Look how white that is. I hope that's gonna photosynthesize. Oh kind of floppy i hope it's good but very healthy very beautiful and there's only i like how spot on they are <laughs> there's only one plant you would think like there's two or three but there's only oh no it has two actually you can see this one right there right? this little tiny one in the middle because look you would think that's a new leaf from this big one but no it's separate so i have two maybe i can separate no honestly i'm too scared to do that but down the line if i can i'll separate and give one to my mom I still love my mom because my mom and I we have the we we share the same plant enthusiasm <laughs> with houseplants. Um, she has a garden too outside, and her and I we just go crazy with houseplants and um, outdoor plants too. And I go visit her. I love when she gives me like a planty tour. I always say, like it's my coffee ready because I like to drink coffee, and 
part to walk me in her garden it's just very therapeutic and it just heals my soul and it recharges my soul so i love that so much and i owe her so much and the least i can do is give her free plants and that's really really cool but ah, i got a florida go too girl i'm pretty popular now huh like am i cool <laughs> i just think it's Did I hear the ice cream? The ice cream man. Um, I respect the hustle, girl. It's like seven right now, and we're in the ghetto. I should probably go down and support her. I should probably like, get some nachos. But y'all, I got a Florida ghost. It was always a mint, but it's not a mint. It's a ghost. That is, that is so. Like, I would do your potting video with these. Now, right now, I'll probably do a part two. Maybe tomorrow I'll post it. Like repot these and then show you how i'm going to set them up because i want to make sure these plants grow really really big and I, I can't wait to give you guys updates on how much they grow i just think that's so cool so these are all the plants that i got i got four plants a uh, florida ghost a uh, golden zebra and well i said i got four i got three plants i thought i did got four wait Where's the Vici eye? Oh, wow, I, I lost it a little bit. It was like on the, on the other side of the sofa. It's just so tiny, got, it was like this, like on the, on the sofa. But that was, my, that was my perspective. It's like whatever, it's still taped then. So I got it in the Oh, I'm scared. Well, I'll give it to them. Their tape is really, really good. I'm kind of scared. I'm a, I have scissors, hold on. I'm gonna, literally gonna repot this ASAP because honestly guys, I probably won't film the video of me repotting them because I'm gonna do this ASAP and I'm trying, I have really bad scissors. <laughs> I got these from like Walmart. They were the cheapest one I can get. Okay, I got it. <laughs> My Anthurium Vichii, Vichii, and then my Florida Ghost, oh. and then my Golden Zebra. So basically I got five plants, but I ordered four, and then my two zebra plants, sorry, tiger ferns. My two tiger ferns, ah! this would be such a cute terrarium. So that's basically my little haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have their link down below so you guys can go and check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up if you did. And I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>